Alors on est de retour sur Vacarme.net, alors euh, avec deux joueurs de boot, avec euh, Moxie et Impression. So, hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, pretty alright. Pretty alright, right. Not so well after they lost. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna come back on the tournament. So you lost your two games, pretty difficult games for you. Uh, what can you tell uh, us about those games? Uh, I think like we. How do I put this? It's like. I think we, we couldn't get our game going so because it's a, like our first huge international land. So I think some of us were like pretty nervous and scared to take fights that we normally do. So yeah, I guess just nervous, couldn't get going. They were just better. <laughs> we have a lot to learn. Um, what was your preparation for, for this tournament? Uh, was it special? Uh, did you prepare the specifically for this tournament and uh, what was your goal? I think we did have some preparation like we had some things in mind but we never really got to doing it that's one of the I think kind of reason what one of the reasons why we didn't get our game going uh, we actually came here earlier we arrived on the 24th of August in uh, Copenhagen we did like a short boot camp there for like three four days before we came over here to Malmo for the tournament so I think our goal for this uh, tournament itself is actually to try to go as far as we can. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I guess this is as far as we can go. Yeah, yeah. So we want to take it round by round, and I think things kind of spiraled out of control, and we couldn't recover, which is why we never really got our own game going. So I think as of our goals, at least now the takeaways, we kind of have to just look back. And see what the better teams, the teams that are better than us, are doing that's right, and what we're doing that's wrong, and improve on it. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to ask you the question. So Tommy joined your team three months ago. Uh, why picking him uh, instead of another player? And did you think to to take another uh, a player from another country in uh, Asia? like uh, Asian teams doing right now? Yeah, we took Tommy because we played with him at TWC last year. So we are already good friends with him. And he brings more firepower to the team. And in terms of like looking out of our country, we wanted someone that is in Singapore so that we could like live in a gaming house together. Because it's better to have like land practice where you're beside each other, where you're like one person in another country and he can only fly here for one week to boot camp. So, uh, We wanted someone to, that could live together with us to yeah, build some chemistry in a gaming house and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Uh, speaking about the gaming house, uh, had you some expectations from it? Uh, were you scared like, uh, to, to have a bad chemistry in it because of living with uh, your mates uh, or knowing you or each other uh, from a long time ago? Uh, did it help you or something? Uh, I think we're okay. Like, we kind of had like uh, very clear boundaries about certain things before we went to the gaming house. Uh, there are times where it's like um, certain things, you know, different. You have like five different people, right? And then five different people have five different ideas. And because everybody has different ideas, sometimes someone prefers things to say this way, someone prefers it to <laughs> not stay this way, and. Sometimes we have like little, small little like you know, squabbles, but it's, it's really nothing. Like that's the that's kind of part of chemistry and bonding. Like you must shuffle things, the small th uh, shuffle aside the small things, and work to become better together. You know. And what's your feeling? My feeling, <laughs> I guess it was good for the first month, and then like I guess when people start living too long with each other, like sometimes it may not be very good. So yeah, like. You get to start. You start to get a little bit irritated by the smallest things, you know, like yeah, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's good and bad, yeah. Okay, so now talking about the future, what are your goals, your objectives for the future? I think uh, after coming here, we had because we had practice with European teams, and obviously we had the matches as well. Uh, it's time for us to kind of go back and see what we can learn from it uh, see how different it is. Uh, I think like the first step for us is definitely to try and conquer Asia 
and then try to attend as many international land tournaments as we can and hopefully we can go further from then on. I mean, it's not an easy road, so it's going to take time and I think we, after, <laughs> after our results here, I think we have a lot more to think about as a team, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can, because we're out so early, we, we can use the next few days to still practice some of the EU teams. So it's probably good for us to get more practice, like make the make the full out of this trip here. And it's kind of a different game. Yeah, it's a different game, so we, we should play more and learn more, I guess. So yeah, and maybe when we go back, take a little short break and then analyze what we did wrongly here and, and then we can improve from there. Do you think you can win uh, the next Asian minor, minor? Next Asian minor? I think we we might be able to qualify for it. That's a, that's our goal for it, because we choked in the last one. <laughs> so I, our goal is to make it to the Asian minor first, and then see where it goes from there. Obviously, we want to win it. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you and good luck for the next tournaments. Thank you.